righty. So here we have a PowerPoint presentation that I put together for President's Day. It is entitled Presidential Potpourri, A History of President's Day. And as you can see, I have the, the emblem of the presidency off to the on, on the side, the left hand side, as you can see, the eagle and the shield. And then, of course, at the bottom, I have some pictures of some of our more prominent presidents, more important presidents. But of course, starting left to right, we have George Washington, our nation's first president, Abraham Lincoln, our nation's 16th, Theodore Roosevelt, our uh, 26th president, Franklin Roosevelt, our 32nd president, and Barack Obama, our nation's 44th president. There are others, of course, but he. The, I just decided to put the um, display some pictures of the more of, of the more prominent uh, presidents and commanders and chiefs. So uh, there we go. We have Washington, Lincoln, T.R., F.D.R., and President Obama. Okay, President's Day facts. I have a couple of facts here about President's Day. President's Day is a federal holiday celebrated on the third Monday in February. Originally established in 1885 in recognition of President George Washington, the holiday became popularly known as President's Day after it was moved as part of the 1971's um, Uniform Monday Holiday Act, which was an attempt to create more three-day weekends for the nation's workers. OK, so we're going to kind of delve into the history of President's Day. Now, as you can see, I have uh, the two most notable presidents who also, of course, share a birthday in February. And uh, they were primarily the reason for the for the uh, one of the reasons for the holiday sort of becoming uh, one as opposed to just, you know, uh, Lincoln's birthday and Washington's birthday. It's now President's Day. It's sort of a combination or a. Uh, a uh, consolidation of both of those days into one. So, of course, in the the, the far uh, the top uh, left hand corner, we have a picture of George Washington, and the far right hand corner, we have a picture of Abraham Lincoln. Okay, now George Washington. The story of President's Day date begins in 1800, following the death of George Washington in 1799. His February 22nd birthday became a perennial day of remembrance. At the time, Washington was venerated as the most important figure in American history. The centennial of his birth, which was 1832, and the start of construction on the Washington Monument in 1848 were cause for celebration. So there he goes. You can see the holiday, Washington's birthday, at least, of course, you know, in the celebration of it dates back to 1800, the year after his death and um, the subsequent years following it, of course, and the construction of the Washington Monument, which began in 1848. Of course, it mentions the centennial of his birth in 1832 as well. OK, Washington's birthday becomes official. While Washington's birthday was an unofficial observance for most of the 1800s, it was not until the late 1870s that it became a federal holiday. Senator Stephen Dorsey of Arkansas was the first to propose the measure, and in 1879, President Rutherford B. Hayes signed it into law. It was expanded to include the entire country in 1885 after only being designated for the District of Columbia. Washington's birthday becomes official. At the time, Washington's birthday joined four other nationally recognized federal bank holidays, which were Christmas Day, December 25th, New Year's Day, the 4th of July, and Thanksgiving, and was the first to celebrate an individual American. So Washington's birthday becomes official. Uniform Monday Holiday Act. And as you can see, I have a couple of neat pictures here, one of a bald eagle, one of our uh, nation's emblems, the national bird, the bald eagle. And of course, the, op the other picture I have in the far uh, in the uh, top uh, right hand corner is a picture of the White House, which is where the president resides. OK, so Uniform Monday Holiday Act. The shift from Washington's birthday to President's Day began in the late 
1960s when Congress proposed a measure known as the Uniform Monday Holiday Act. The law sought to shift the celebration of several federal holidays from specified dates to a series of predetermined Mondays. The change was seen as a way to establish more three-day weekends. Washington and Lincoln's birthdays joined. So as you can see, the picture of both Washington and Lincoln together, it says our country, Washington made, Lincoln saved. I love that picture. Really telling. Okay, the Uniform Monday Holiday Act also included a provision to combine the celebration of Washington's birthday with that of Abraham Lincoln, which fell on February 12th. Lincoln's birthday had long been a state holiday in places like Illinois, and many supported joining the two dates as a way of giving equal recognition to two of America's most famous statesmen. Okay, what presidents are celebrated on President's Day? While the order plainly called the newly placed holiday Washington's birthday, it was not long before the shift to President's Day began. The move away from February 22nd led many to believe that the new date was intended to honor both Washington and Lincoln, as it now fell between their two birthdays. By the mid-1980s, Washington's birthday was known to many Americans as President's Day. Okay, continue. What presidents are celebrated on President's Day? Some states have decided to customize the holiday by including new figures to the celebration. Arkansas is one of these states as they celebrate both Washington and civil rights activist Daisy Gatson Bates. Alabama, meanwhile, used President's Day to celebrate Washington and Jefferson, even though Jefferson's birthday is in April. Washington and Lincoln still remain the most recognized leaders, but President's Day is now popularly seen as a day honoring all of America's chief executives. Some lawmakers have objected to this view, arguing that grouping George Washington and Abraham Lincoln together with less successful presidents minimizes their legacies. What is closed on President's Day? As a federal holiday, many banks and schools are closed in observance of President's Day. The New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ are closed for trading on President's Day. The post office is not open, and non-essential federal workers have the day off. Similar to Independence Day, President's Day is viewed as a time of patriotic celebration. In its original incarnation of Washington's birthday, the holiday gained special meaning during the difficulties of the Great Depression, when portraits of George Washington often graced the front pages of newspapers and magazines every February 22nd. In 1932, the date was used to reinstate the Purple Heart, a military decoration originally created by George Washington. In 1932, would have been the bicentennial of George Washington's birth as he was born in 1732. Okay, and I have a couple of sources here that I used for this PowerPoint presentation, as you can see. And happy President's Day to each and every one of you. Have a good one, and thank you for watching.